this is the video review for DX9's War in Pocket Metal Ants and Plague. Uh, this is the second set of War in Pocket figures. The first, of course, being Ironhide and Blur, or Gardenal and Speedoo, uh, which we'll get to. Uh, this one comes in the same kind of nice little box, uh, Metal Ants and Plague, which is, of course, we recognize as Ratchet and Scourge. Um, now, we've seen uh, test shots of both Cyclonus and Galvatron coming from this line. Uh, and I'm excited for those. Like, I'm really digging this whole line. I, I had the, I had the Speedo test shot months before the first set came out. And I was really impressed. And so I picked that up. And, uh, I, I mean, like I said, Metal Ants is, is obviously, like, he's got a different head. But, uh, is the, uh, you know, the same mold as their Gartinal, uh, their Ironhide. Uh, which makes absolutely perfect sense. Uh, Plague here is a new mold. And I really, I, you know, he's kind of his little, he's kind of his little soap dish shaped space boat. Um, and he's pretty fun. There is like a, a minor warpage here on one of my wings. You can see that this doesn't sit quite even right here. Uh, easy enough to fix with a hairdryer uh, when I get around to it. Um, and not, and, and honestly not the end of the world as it is. Um, just something to, to point out, but still a very cool little uh, space figure. His head is right here, but he has kind of like an automorph built in here. So you can't actually pop his head up to give him that head on a boat uh, that you could do with some of the toys. So yeah, uh, just a quick size comparison with uh, the others. Obviously, these two are very similar aside from different slits in the top to allow for their head detail. Um, and of course, Metal Ants has the, uh, the lights. And obviously, there's no real connection between these two, just showing off the four of them together. But all in all, this is a fun line. I'm looking forward to seeing this continue. And I, uh, I'm, really, I'm really happy with these little dudes. I like them a lot. Um, now, one of the things you'll notice if you get this is inside the box, there's in the plastic tray, there's still a cutout for the rifle, and it's shaped to fit this rifle. This is the one that came with Blur or Speedo in the first set. Um, this set does not include a weapon. I don't know if they intended to and then cut it for whatever reasons, uh, because it is a different tray to fit Plague over here, although they could easily fit... Uh, um, you know, Metal Ants in the same slot as Gartnell. Uh, they, they did cut a new tray, it looks like. So, um, why that? Why that's there, I have no idea. But if you get this, don't freak out. That's, it's not missing a gun. This set does, does not come with one. Uh, you, you just get the figures and you do get a little baggie with the instructions in it. And Transformer will start with Metal Ants first because he does basically copy the exact transformation. Not even basically, he copies the exact transformation as Gartnell. So I'll go ahead and uh, pop these out. These are going to be his feet. Bring this whole assembly down to the front like that. Split the arms out. Rotate them. Uh, fold the cross panel down. That's going to be the front of his shoulder. And then rotate this arm one more time and flip that panel up. And that gives him elbow articulation. And this this will this panel right here will just barely clear the side there, which is why I need to rotate it. Um, flip this panel up, and then these pieces right here flip forward, and then the, the lower half flips back to form the feet. I really like that foot transformation; <laughs> just kind of cool. Um, and there's Metal Ants, and in his foot he does still have the same two kind of guns like. Uh, Gartnell did. You just got to pop them out, and sometimes they can be a little bit of a pain in the patoot to get out. But uh, they actually come out fairly, fairly easily when they don't. Every now and then, this claw one will just decide to s sit farther in there than it needs to be. But for the most part, uh, once you get them started, if you can just kind of get right here and kind of push out through that corner, you can get them to pop out fairly easily. Uh, uh, my issue with these is that uh, the, the peg hole on the hand is very tight, so you really got to work to get them in there the first couple of times. But it's the same two guns. And you could easily swap these out if you wanted to. If you wanted to give uh, Metal Ants uh, two of these little claw kind of medical looking weapons and give uh, Gartnell two actual pistols, uh, you could do that. Um, they fit in the same slots. But as of right now, they each come with one of each type of weapon. And then Plague here. Uh, transforms about the way you'd expect for a figure this size of Scourge. You just kind of open these panels up. And out, uh, and, and they said this this panel's on a hinge, and this panel back here is on a ball joint, and they even cut a little groove in, in the ball joint so you can actually fold them all the way back if you want. You've got a lot of posability on these wings, even though there's just this one hinge on the wing itself. Um, 
you've got a lot of options for how you want to position it, which is really nice. It could, it, they could have easily just made this a swivel to come out, um, but they didn't. And the arms come down, rotate them like that, and then flip the hand all the way down. Just like that. Split the legs apart, rotate just the lower half forward, and fold his foot up. Now there's no particular heel piece back here, uh, so you do have to make sure they're folded properly flat for him to stand. But uh, when, once you get the foot in the right position, he will it will support him uh, quite well. So the seven, here's where I was talking about the automorph. As you rotate this panel, this this whole panel rotates up into his back here, and that automatically pushes the head up as you rotate it. He's got a little bit of a long face, but uh, it's kind of cool. But you see, as, as you as you rotate that, his head automatically drops down into there. It's kind of cool. And, and his head, despite all that, his head is on a ball joint in there. You can actually move it up and down, turn it side to side. Uh, so. I'll, I'll forgive them that you can't pop his head up in alt mode uh, for the automorph that still retains a ball joint. Although if you, if you try to move the ball joint just like this, you, you'd have to support this piece. It, it does like to, the ball joint's stiff enough that it will start that automorph uh, transforming. But if you just put your thumb right there and you can see there's a new ridge as you position the head, uh, his head does have quite a bit of position. Uh, even, for, even with this giant collar, you can't move side to side that much, but you can turn it all the way around. Um, and still, it still moves forward and back. You've got a lot, a lot of range of motion for a head that normally would be limited by this collar here. So some really nice design there. And there's the two of them together. Scourge looks great, or Plague looks great. I can't wait for the Cyclonus and the Galvatron to come, that it's coming with him, or that's coming, you know, later on in the line. Uh, Metal Ants is a nice update to Ratchet, um, as well as, you know, a nice second use of the Gartnel mold, which, again, we expected. And then just show them off here in robot mode altogether. Uh, there you go. Ah, come back. I, I still think I think, I think Speedo is still my favorite of this whole line. Like these guys are great. Scourge is great, but uh, something about this blur just really makes me happy. I love his alt mode. It's a simple transformation, and it's just such a great. He's got a lot of character here in his small robot mode. I really dig this. Um, I'm look, like I said, they've got a lot more of these planned as far as I know. I know there's at least two more coming, and it, the way they're numbered makes it sound like there's at least going to be a couple more coming with them. So uh, I hope this line continues because they're just the right scale to work with the Generations Metroplex. They work okay with uh, uh, Make Toys Utopia as well, but um, it's just a fun scale. Like, like the, These all feel like the right characters in smaller little uh, action figure size. Um, you can throw one in a pocket. They're easy to transport. You're not carrying Voyagers and stuff around. And that's nothing against, you know, bigger size figures. I, th I think there's plenty of uh, good stuff to be had there. But these are really nice and really well done for such a small size. Iron Factory's got some small dudes coming out that are really cool, too. They've got that uh, Iron Factory did that uh, Scamper and Slammer set I reviewed recently. And they've got a Blaster set coming with uh, Steel Jaw and uh, Headstrong. So uh, they're, they're, they're putting out some neat stuff too. I love that a lot of companies, like some co a lot of companies are moving towards like MP scale figures and some other companies are moving toward smaller micro scale figures. Not even, not even really micro scale, but smaller figures. And if they're doing them this well, I totally support that because um, sometimes like as cool as some of the big massive combiners and city bots and stuff are, um, it's nice to have a couple like really nice little figures that you can just kind of throw in a pocket or, or, you know, not have to haul a giant bag full of toys in to play with. Uh, or, 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 they, or take up huge amounts of shelf space. Like, like these four guys right here take up less desk space than Utopia's foot would. <laughs> maybe, maybe, yeah, that may be a little bit of a hyperbole. Like, I guess if we had his foot going this way. Yeah, they, they sit on a smaller square footage than, or square inchage than, uh, some of the bigger bots do, so uh, that's kind of nice. If you want, just want to have a display of a lot of cool little bots, this is the way to go. Anyway, there's the War and Pocket DX03, DX9, the X03 set. Or actually, X03 and X04. Uh, it's the Metal Ants and Plague set. Metal Ants is X03, uh, Plague is X04, and of course these two being X01 and X02. So yeah, check them out. Definitely, these guys I, I have no problem recommending if you like any of these characters. They're fun, fun little versions of those guys. Um, 
and I do quite like them.